Today we're gonna do a video on the easiest and cheapest yet most effective drone drop system that I have been able to come up with. So starting off, we're gonna need a drone. The most affordable yet most quality drone that I've found on the internet is the DJI Mini 3 Pro. This thing is cinema quality at uh, a relatively low cost compared to you know other drones on the market and then this is a super super simple and cheap remote drone drop system there's a link to it in my bio on my amazon store you can go get that bad boy and we're going to rig it up to the drone here super simple just pops right on there buckles down and you obviously need a drone remote The dropper comes with this neat little remote here. And the devices I've been dropping are flash bangs from IWA, go check them out. This is a dummy bang, it's already detonated, so we're just using it for training purposes. The munitions housing I made out of Tegris. I just cut it with tin snips, you can do this at home. And drill a little hole here on the top. That will pin to the drone. You can make the munitions housing out of anything though. Here's one I made out of a birthday card, as long as it's any sturdy, lightweight material. Hey Wop Wop. Looks like Wop Wop wants to come learn how to do some drone munitions. And he's more than welcome. Ducks have freedom too. So what we're gonna do here is align the munition and the housing like so. Spoon up so the energy launches it away from the drone. Align these two holes here. We're gonna grab our drone and turn it on. Open up the dropper. Align these two holes, like so. Sometimes the camera cover might get in the way. And then closer. Sometimes it can be tricky, but. Close it in position so it grabs the housing. And make sure you face the primer side back so it doesn't damage your camera. Now we're going to turn on the drone. And then we're going to arm our munition. This is the sketchy part. I like to secure the housing with my hand as well, just in case anything goes wrong. We'll give it a good twist and pull and get your ring out. Make sure it doesn't go flying and be ready to toss it if it does. Looks like we're ready to fly. So we'll launch the drone. And get our dropper remote right here. And sometimes if your housing isn't positioned properly, it can interfere with your gimbal and your camera. So you gotta kind of look out for that, but we're just going to target ourselves here. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. We'll just try to drop it right here in the driveway. So you can look front to back and make sure you're aligned with your target that direction. Make sure you're aligned with your target in all directions. If you're And like I said, if your housing is not positioned properly, it'll interfere with the your camera and your gimbal and you won't be able to look down 90 degrees or see past your munition but we can work with that because these are improvised uh munitions i mean toys you know now that we've targeted ourselves we're going to grab our remote don't forget to hit record so you can save your war crimes and then drop that bad boy. Oh no, what, what, what was that? Perfect shot right into the garage. Tango down. And then you just bring your drone back to reload.
looks like the ladies like drone munitions. Stopping in the middle of the road. What is this? This is why I don't like the city. Gotta deal with people that have no consideration for reality. They didn't even look behind them when they started backing up. And then they're honking at them as if we're in the wrong. As if, and then they're honking at them as if they're in the wrong. Damn, dude. They don't even know they're being recorded or that I could have just dropped something on them. Well, that's about it for how to drone munitions. Uh, don't get in trouble, and if you did, don't blame me. Have fun, guys. Thanks for watching.